Hi there, Hogan team. It was really great to see so many of you earlier this week at our holiday party. And for those I didn't get a chance to see, I want to wish you and your loved ones a healthy and happy holiday season. What I'm trying out today is, is something different. Uh, normally, when um, unveiling our people plan for the upcoming year, I do it uh, via a detailed email. Well, as you can see, this time I'm doing it over video, so please be kind and bear with me. It's my first time doing this. I'm actually coming to you from my home office, which I don't get to use very much, so it's kind of neat to use it today. Um, before I get into the elements of our people plan, I want to talk a little bit about how we came to uh, the details of it. And a lot of it was via feedback from all of you. Um, we took surveys, we've had one-on-one uh, -on -one conversations and um, gathered feedback at our People Summit in October as well. And, and that uh, was very valuable information that really helped us uh, shape and form what we want to do in 2023. So I'm excited to announce uh, the key elements of our plan, and there are five of them. Uh, the first is the establishment of a community fund and Hogan Company is going to allocate $25,000 towards this fund. What the fund is, is the chance for you and your restaurants to make a mark in the communities in which you do business. So if you, if your crew, your managers, customers have a cause, uh, an, an event, um, something that, that you want to be part of and support, let us know all about it. And we have money available to put towards uh, stuff that's going to make your communities a better place. The second thing is our people fund. And by now everybody's uh, aware and, and, and comfortable using our people fund, but we're gonna bump up the monthly allocation from $75 to $100 a month. I hope that uh, this helps you guys amp up what you can do for your teams. And uh, again, be creative, uh, come up with great ideas. If you need good ideas, we've got a support team with Diana, supervisors and others that can uh, share best bets of what other restaurants are doing. Um, to help reward people, uh, both crew and managers. The third piece is our uh, health coverage contribution. And as many of you have known over uh, open enrollment the past several weeks, we've bumped our contribution by 10% for 2023. I'm proud to be doing that and, and think that uh, for many of you, it'll be uh, impacting your wallets and pocketbooks in a, a positive way. The fourth thing is a big thing. And as we all know, our uh, shift managers play such a key role in our restaurants. They are the glue that oftentimes uh, keep our restaurants together. And you folks, the, the, the GMs and soups um, need as, as many good and qualified shift managers as we can get. So what we're gonna do effective January 2nd is bump our certified shift manager pay and department shift manager pay by a dollar an hour. Uh, this is uh, a step, hopefully, in helping you run better restaurants, uh, have lower stress levels, and ultimately have uh, lower turnover. And, and we'd love to have uh, crew people get excited and, and interested in becoming certified shift managers so that they can get this pay raise too. The last piece is uh, an important one. Um, so I'm saving the best for last. And, and you know, what we need to do now that we're finally uh, emerging from the COVID pandemic and, and getting used to this new normal, we got to bring back fun into our restaurants. Um, our holiday party was the first step in doing this, and, and we had a blast uh, bowling just the other night. We hope to do another big event uh, before the summer uh, kicks in next year. And then throughout the year, I've asked uh, supervisors and, and, um, and, and others to have you know, informal patch meetings uh, outside of restaurants where we're not talking about McDonald's, where we're doing something fun, team bonding stuff, just shooting the breeze, all those things. Um, we need to bring uh, a, a lot more fun uh, back into our restaurants. We, we work hard enough as it is. So these five elements are ones that I'm excited about. I, I hope that they're gonna bring uh, positive change into our restaurants. And, and I'm really proud that we're doing this uh, in the year uh, in which we've, we've had a really tough time with cash flow. And I know how hard all of you have worked and I'm, I'm thankful for it. Um, but a, a down year with cash flow isn't keeping us from investing and reinvesting in our people. And with this plan, we're committing more than $600,000 to people initiatives for 2023. And believe me, 
this is just the start. It's not the finish line. Uh, we have more to come. Please keep the feedback coming. Uh, I owe it to you uh, to do all that I can to give you the resources that you need to run great restaurants. What I ask from you uh, is just a couple of things. First, do your best communicating these changes and, and putting them to good use in your restaurants. And then as we go through the course of the year, I am not gonna rest until I feel like we're in a better place staffing wise. So we're gonna go throw in a lot more things up against the wall. Some of them are gonna stick, most of them aren't. What I ask you is to keep an open mind, give things a fair shot. And if we do that, we're gonna have a really great 2023. All right, hope this went okay. Have a happy holiday season, everybody. Bye-bye.